positive. Yeah, now Steve Poole joins us sounding kind of positive about this weather too. Well, you know, it seems like we've rebounded a little bit, went through a, a bit of a rough patch there, but uh, we're back to the summer-like weather, especially in the afternoon. You still got the clouds in the morning. How's the rest of the week shaping up? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. Here's what's happening outside right now. You can see a beautiful view of the waterfront from our camera up on the top of Columbia Center. Uh, I should tell you, you know, it doesn't seem like it, but time is just flying by. You realize the Navy fleet is going to be in town a week from tomorrow. So we'll have all these uh, Navy ships kind of parked along the waterfront once again. Yeah, seafare time is upon us. Let's see what's happening specifically. We have partly cloudy skies, 63 degrees. Our wind is calm, barometer 30.02. It's holding steady. We have 83% on our humidity, 76 the high. That's right on the button for normal, 56 the normal low 53 is what we had last night. So basically what's happening is we just don't have a lot of major weather systems in the area and you wouldn't expect us to this time of year, but we do have a little bit of what we call onshore flow, which is these low clouds that sort of hug the coast, start moving in overnight and then they kind of hang around while we attempt to burn that off throughout the day. Very familiar scenario around here. It's going to happen again tomorrow and for the next several days. We've got to overnight lows in the mid to upper 50s, gradually increasing low clouds tonight on the east side temperatures also in the same range you can pick out something kind of close to where you live and that's about right for you at any rate by tomorrow what we expect to have is a little bit of gray to start off as we did this morning and then clear that out and go to mostly sunny skies highs will be in a comparable range to what happened today so mid 70s 75 in Bellevue Bremerton you'll have 73 Edmond 71 along the waterfront and 76 in Issaquah so just a touch warmer as you go up into the foothills here in the northern counties you're talking upper 60s generally but inland and down the I-5 corridor should break into the low 70s in Bellingham, Mount Vernon, and in Everett. Now then, on the coast, tougher to burn things off. You know that if you live there. So mid-60s for you, but 81 in Portland, 77 in Longview, up in the Cascades. Freezing level will be about uh, just a little bit lower than it would normally be this time of year, but still 10,000 feet, up to 65 afternoon past temperatures. So recreation plans just fine. And east of the Cascades, also hot, not as hot as it can get, but mid to upper 80s. We've got 83 in Wenatchee and 86 in Yakima. So I would look for the partly cloudy skies tonight. Tomorrow, let's start things off with some areas of low clouds and then kind of clear that away and go right to your uh, mostly sunny skies, 71 to 75 degrees. Here's a look at the six day planner and there's a certain sameness to it throughout the week. The only difference here is just going to be how much do we have in the way of morning clouds and how long does it take to clear it off? Maybe a chance of a sprinkle on Saturday, but not that much. Can you believe Seafair next week? Blue Angels coming Where to town. Where does the time week. go? Zoom, I here know. we go. Didn't it's summer a, just start? Yeah, and it's fun time around here, It's too. a great time. All so right. much fun. Lots going on. Thank, Thank you, Steve. You. Sharks, sharks, and more sharks. The Mariners also come home for a royal battle after sweeping Minnesota. About the mid-60s by noon, and in the afternoon, the high temperature should be between sunny and 80. Now, that may be a couple of degrees cooler than today, but not so as you'd notice. We had some today that were around the 82, 83 mark, such as Bellevue. Uh, and uh, uh, the weather station at Sandpoint at Lake Washington also was in the low 80s, as was North Bend, the uh, town in East King County. So tomorrow, maybe just a little tiny bit cooler due to that marine air, but I don't think you'll notice too much in the way of cloud cover. In the seven-day planner, we're going to be in the upper 70s again on Wednesday. Thursday looks to be very nice around 75 Thursday and Friday. Saturday and Sunday we may get a kind of a heavy blanket of clouds in the morning hours. It'll still burn off in the afternoon but it may keep our highs only about 70 rather than in the mid to upper 70s where they normally would be but we're not talking about any rain for the weekend just simply a little on the cool side not as cool as this past weekend. Uh, I think I can assure you that. All right, Harry, thank you. Another win for the Mariners, and now they're headed home. And it's what? In the mid 80s to mid 90s. And what does this indicate for the winds? As we take a look, first, the strongest winds are going to be in the Strait of Juan de Fuca as we get that continued onshore flow. 10 to 30 miles an hour, those stronger winds during the afternoon to evening hours. Now, up in the mountains, look for low morning clouds there, too, particularly the west slopes of the Cascades, not the east slopes. Partly sunny skies in the afternoon. Afternoon past temperatures mostly mid to upper 60s. Wednesday a bit warmer, a high of 77. Thursday another weak push of some ocean air. As a result, a little bit of cooling. Then a much stronger push with what appears to be a much stronger disturbance on Saturday. High temperatures mostly in the 60s. Well, an all too common scene in our weather picks for tonight, and that is of a fire. This one, the Tacoma Tide Flats fire on Sunday. This picture sent to us by 
K. Rubokava. So thanks for your photo, K. And if you've got a photo to send to us, send us at weatherpix at king5.com. Maybe some of those low clouds you can possibly...